Coming up here on Chicago Bears now, my colleague Mitchell Renz, host of the Raiders Report, has been told by multiple Las Vegas Raiders players that they want Justin Fields in Vegas. Could a trade between the Bears and Raiders take place? We're going to dive into that. What do you guys think? Who is Justin Fields' 2024 team going to be? If he's still going to be with the Bears, type CHI. If you think he's going to be elsewhere, type O for other. If you want to type a specific team in the comments, you can do that as well. CHI for Bears, O for other. Let's dive into it here on Chicago Bears now. Chicago Bears Now is presented by Manscaped. The all-new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is the best ball hair trimmer on the market. It's the best one ever created. 20% off with promo code BEARS20 at manscaped.com. My name is Harrison Graham. Could Justin Fields find himself in Las Vegas? Well, like I said, multiple Raiders players want Justin Fields in Vegas next year. The Bears, of course, still have to decide uh, on drafting a quarterback versus keeping Fields. And uh, look, it's a little uncertain what Fields' trade value would be, uh, whether it's to a team like Vegas or somewhere else. Uh, here's one thing I am pretty certain of. In fact, I'm almost 100% certain. The Raiders are going to be in the quarterback market. Why? Well, they don't have a franchise quarterback. Uh, Aiden O'Connell's done some nice things. I think he projects as a quality backup. I don't think he's a permanent starter there. Jimmy G obviously hasn't worked out. Brian Hoyer's going to be selling insurance next year. Uh, the Raiders are going to be in the quarterback market. And when you think about the NFL draft, Caleb Williams, Drake May expected to be the top two picks. Jaden Daniels going to go top five, top ten at worst. Well, the Raiders currently sit with the number 12 pick, so they may not be able to find a franchise quarterback. Sure, they could trade up and give up a bunch of picks, or they could trade for a quarterback like Justin Fields because they are not currently in range for one of the top quarterback prospects. Now, again, we don't know what the Bears are going to do. We don't know if they're going to keep Fields and draft or draft a quarterback. Uh, that's yet to be determined by Ryan Poles. I'm just bringing you this video because uh, I have been told directly that multiple Raiders players want Justin Fields next season. Now, here are my top five quarterback prospect rankings for this year. Caleb Williams out of USC is my top guy. Drake May is number two. Jaden Daniels out of LSU is number three. I like Michael Penix over J.J. McCarthy, so that's four or five. Uh, I'd go Bo Nix six. If Quinn Ewers came out, I would probably have him five, McCarthy six, and then Nick seven. Uh, but it's expected he's going to go back to Texas, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but again, based on where the Raiders are currently slotted, the top three quarterbacks, at least, maybe Penix as well, are all going to be gone. So if Vegas doesn't want to give up a bunch of capital to move up, they might just give up less capital to trade for a quarterback, again, like Justin Fields. This is why you subscribe. When Bears rumors surface, when we get information like this, we're going to keep you covered here on the channel. So hit that sub button, turn on notifications. It's youtube.com slash bears now. Daily Chicago Bears videos. Okay, here's a direct quote from an anonymous Raiders player. I can't reveal who this player is, unfortunately. He said this, I know fans want to tank and shit, but p players aren't built like that. We want to go 4-0, see what happens. This was before the Raiders last game, FYI. See what happens, plus I'd rather have Justin Fields over any quarterback in the draft, but I don't see Chicago trading him. So Mitchell Renz, the Raiders port host, basically trade or texted one of the Raiders players. He's got a few of their numbers and said, what do you think about tanking and getting a new quarterback? And obviously the player said players don't tank, et cetera. Plus, we like Justin Fields better than the draft prospects. Another Raiders player uh, messaged uh, Mitch this as well. Fields is nice AF as fuck. Uh, so they like him. There's players in that locker room that have a lot of respect for Justin Fields. If you remember, it was Fields' second or third start. He went into Vegas and beat Derek Carr and the Raiders just a couple of years ago as a rookie. So they've seen him up close. Obviously, he didn't play in the game this year uh, when uh, he was out with that thumb injury. But uh, there's intrigue from, in that locker room at least, not necessarily in the front office, but in that locker room, another Raiders player chimed in. Uh, to my guy Mitch, and said this. I'm paraphrasing here. They want a mobile quarterback. Derek Carr wasn't very mobile. Aiden O'Connell 
nice uh, backup type of quarterback. He's not mobile at all. He's kind of a statue. Obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo does not move uh, at all. They haven't had a mobile quarterback uh, in Vegas in a long time. Uh, in, in today's NFL, you need your quarterbacks, unless you're unbelievable in the pocket and pre-snap, uh, you need them to be mobile to create and do some different things. Obviously, Justin Fields, if nothing else, is one of the best running quarterbacks, if not the best in the NFL. 2,000 yards rushing in his career, 12 touchdowns. I think something he's done really well this year, too, is when he has broken the pocket, he's done a better job of keeping his eyes downfield and looking to create uh, big pass plays instead of just taking off, so he's improved in that area. Uh, so there's a lot of reason why other teams, other players, you hear players all the time talk about how much they respect Justin Fields, uh, and the Raiders' players are no different from what I've been told. So that is very, very interesting. And obviously from the Bears' standpoint, it's what does Ryan Poles do? That's what I want you guys to chime in on. Will Ryan Poles keep or trade Justin Fields? Type K for keep or T for trade. If you put a gun to my head right now and force me to pick, I think he would trade him. I don't know that for sure, but uh, I think at this exact moment in time, he would lean toward trading him and pick, picking his own quarterback. K for keep, T for trade. Let me know what you guys think Poles will do. So coming up, we're going to dive into some Bears trade ideas with the Raiders if this was to go down. And remember, Champ Kelly, former Bears uh, front office exec under Ryan Pace, he is the interim GM in Vegas and could get that permanent job if they have a strong finish to the season. They might keep their structure in place with him as the GM. So uh, there could be some mutual interest there. He was on that staff that drafted Justin Fields here. So we're going to dive into some different trade ideas here with the Raiders if this were to go down. But first, Manscaped. Step into 2024 with confidence and Listen, Manscaped's going to give you all the confidence you need. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is the best ball hair trimmer and body hair trimmer on the market. They continue to improve their products. The 5.0 Ultra has two blades on it. Two, not just one, two advanced skin care technology as well. It's going to reduce cuts. It's never been better. It's fully waterproof now, not just water resistant. It's got the wireless charging station. Guys, Manscaped. It's just the best product out there when it comes to men's grooming. You're not going to want to miss out. By the way, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is a part of the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, which comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is going to trim those nose and ear hairs. It also comes with the anti-chafing ball deodorant, the Crop Preserver as well, which is the lotion for your balls uh, after giving yourself a trim down there. You get two free gifts with that bundle as well. The boxers, the travel kit, which you can throw all these products and your toothbrush, your toothpaste when you're traveling as well in there. It all fits manscaped.com. Code BEARS20. Get 20% off this holiday season. Take advantage of the best products Manscaped has ever had right now. Tons of other men's grooming products as well. Manscaped.com. Promo code BEARS20. That link and promo code is in the comments and description of this video. Okay, let's now shift to these three trade ideas that I have cooked up with the Las Vegas Raiders here. Trade idea number one. Uh, just a picks-oriented trade. Justin Fields for a second, fourth, and a fifth. Now, I'm guesstimating a little bit here. I kind of did this based on the Sam Darnold trade, which we get to here in a second. Fields' value will be fascinating, and I do want to make this clear. Just because Sam Darnold got one thing doesn't mean Fields would get that, even though Fields has been the better player. Every market is different. Teams might look at this and say, well, the Bears are drafting their own guy. Why would we pay more than what we think we need to? All that could come into play. Uh, but uh, I do think uh, this is a decent measuring stick for a quarterback that Fields has been better than a sixth, a second, and a fourth. Now, key difference here. The second and the fourth were in the following draft. Uh, I would want more capital in this draft. Like, say you get three picks, I would want two of them in this draft uh, to try and uh, get going in 2024. Uh, and me, to me, it's pretty clear. Fields, up to this point, has been much better than Darnold was with the Jets. I don't think that's a hot take, even if you're not high on Fields. Sam Darnold was kind of a train wreck in New York, and he's still got a two, a four, and a six. I think a two, a, a, a two and then some should be more than reasonable uh, for a Justin Fields trade package. But obviously we have to see what the market is uh, if the Bears do decide to go this route. Trade idea number two, player plus pick. Jacoby Myers, wide receiver, solid player. He's like a number two, number three type, uh, and a 2024 second-round pick. 
for Justin Fields. So instead of a 2, 4, and a 5, I'm basically morphing Myers into a 4 and a 5, uh, which I think is probably decent value. I think Myers by himself is probably worth a 3. Uh, so 4 and a 5 there kind of adds up uh, to a 3. Uh, Myers this year, you know, pretty productive, right? Seven touchdowns. He's 6'2", 210. He's like what I would call a good number two, great number three type. Um, so depending on what the Bears do at the top of the draft, if they don't go receiver early, Myers can plug and be your number two. Uh, maybe Tyler Scott steps up, becomes your three. Maybe you bring back Darnell Mooney. Maybe you draft a receiver day two to come in and be your slot uh, because Myers is, for the most part, just an outside receiver. Uh, but a solid player, uh, 27 years old, still pretty young, uh, would definitely be an upgrade at your number two spot to what you've had the last couple of years. And then trade idea number three. This is when I get a little wonky here, uh, so stick with me here. Devontae Adams in the number 12 overall pick for Justin Fields in the number five overall pick. Devontae Adams has more value than Justin Fields, but he is older and he doesn't play as a premium of a position. So basically what the Raiders are doing here is – they're losing out player for player, fields for Adams. Obviously, Adams has more value, but they're jumping from 12 to 5. So that's kind of where it evens out, right? Devontae Adams, you guys know how good he is. We watched him torment the Bears for almost a decade uh, in Green Bay. The numbers are a bit down this year, but that's because it's been a train wreck for most of the season offensively in Las Vegas, especially earlier in the year when Josh McDaniels was there. Only downside is Adams actually turns 31 on Christmas Eve, so he'll be 31 next season. So he's not a young pup, but listen, I, I still think for two, three, four years, he's going to be very productive. You pair him with DJ Moore, um, who cares who your number three is? Like that, That's a pretty damn good one-two punch, if you ask me. Arguably the best in the NFL. I think you could argue that's better than Chase and Higgins. At worst, it's very close. Uh, so... Again, I, I'm definitely very, very intrigued by this possibility. Now, would the Raiders trade Adams to get Fields? The reason I, I, I think maybe is they move up to five in that scenario. Maybe they're in range for Marvin Harrison Jr. They replace uh, Devontae Adams with MHJ in that outcome. Okay, so recycling through these trades, I want you guys to let me know which one your favorite one is. Number one, a second, a fourth, and a fifth straight up for Justin Fields. If that one's your favorite, type one. If your favorite trade idea is number two, Jacoby Myers in a second for Justin Fields, type two. Or if you want to go with kind of the blockbuster here, Adams in the 12th pick for Fields in the fifth pick, uh, type three. Listen, if you're moving on from uh, Fields, if you can get Devontae Adams to do it, I'm certainly uh, – intrigued by that outcome yes he is a tick older but I still think Adams is going to be a damn good player for at least multiple seasons uh so I would be intrigued by three but uh, I think all three of those could be ballpark range of what you're looking at here if you are going to trade Justin Fields so we'll see what happens here be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Bears news and rumors uh we would greatly greatly appreciate it and here's Jess as well mentioning Jimmy Garoppolo uh, as Rolly just wanted to get this super chat at the end of this cut. We're all good here. He says that bad contracts like Jimmy G and Wentz Fields is so much worse than Caleb to pass on a huge haul. Oh, he's asking that. We'll have to wait and see, Jess. Uh, love getting this question here at the end of this video. We'll see what happens with Justin Fields.